Good day folks and welcome to About Slots Ultimate Casino Guide. Entering the online casino world can be quite confusing. There are a lot of new terms, conditions, rules, different bonuses, games, providers, etc. Thus we will try to cover it all today. Everything from how to register and claim a bonus, understanding terms and conditions, to what to think of when choosing which game to play. We understand that not all parts of this guide might be of interest to everyone, so we'll split it up into different parts down below, so just click on whichever timestamp that suits you. With that said, let's cover the basics of what a casino bonus is, how to choose and how to claim it. A deposit bonus basically gives you something extra when you sign up for a casino and make a deposit. If you are to claim one, we suggest you go through aboutslots.com that you can find a link to in the bio in this video. Uh, as if you use one of our links and have any questions or problems regarding a casino, we will be able to help you out via our live chat in the bottom right corner if you're signed through us. Some of them will also have an exclusive sticker next to it, meaning that you need to claim it through our link to get that exact bonus. When you've made your way there, as you can see on the screen right now, there are a lot of terms and numbers that might confuse you a bit if you're new to the game, and we will go over most of them. But to claim a bonus, you simply click on a claim bonus here on about slots, and you'll then be sent to the casino site, where you register with your email, name, and all of that. First of all, there are three common deposit bonuses. There are a lot more than that, but we'll keep it simple here and go through the ones that you will see most of the time. When we're done with that, I will explain some of the terms that I use throughout, so if there is something you don't understand, just hang on and we'll get there. You have the free spins bonuses, where you just get a set amount of free spins, usually on a game that the casino chooses, and usually on the lowest possible bet. This may or may not come with a wager, most often it doesn't, but it does however often come with a max cash out, so even if you win 100,000 euros on a free spins bonus, it's unlikely that they will let you cash that out. You then have the most common one, which we can call a matching bonus. This can differ a bit in terms of how much extra money you get to play with, but for the simplicity of things, we'll use the 100% bonus on Shangri-La Casino as an example. This means that if you deposit 100 euros, you'll get an extra 100 euros on top. And this particular site has a cap of 300 euros, like you can see here, which means that if you deposit over 300 euros, you will still get a maximum of 300 euros extra added. This does, however, come with a catch because you have to wager your bonus and deposit 25 times. With some quick maths, multiplying 200 euros with 25, you have a total wager of 5,000 euros here. And if you don't quite grasp what a wager is, just hold on and we'll get to that point as well. Moving on to perhaps the most popular and beneficial bonus, the no sticky bonus. This one is quite simple. Once again, we'll pretend we have deposited 100 euros, getting a 100% no sticky bonus which is a total balance of 200 euros. On a non-sticky bonus, there is no wager attached at first. This means that the first 100 euros in this example is raw money, and the last 100 euros is bonus money. To put it simple, if you win up before you go below 100 euros, you can cash the money out immediately without having to do any wager, but if you do go below 100 euros, a wager will be attached and it will work like the previous one we mentioned. However, it is also worth noting that if a no sticky bonus has a 20x wager, it is usually 20 times the bonus money and not the bonus plus deposit, which is obviously good for you. Another great thing about those non sticky bonuses is that opposite to the regular matching bonus, the raw part of the balance usually does not have a max cash out, another term we'll discuss in a bit, but it basically means that the first half of the balance is just like making a raw deposit with pretty much no strings attached, but we will go more in depth to the terms and conditions a bit later in this video and give you some tips and tricks on what to look out for. While scouring through our website about slots and online casinos overall, you will be met with a lot of terms that you might not be familiar with. So I thought we'd go through the most common ones here, and if there is anything you feel like is missing, just comment down below and we'll help you there. We talked a lot about wagering. Your wager is simply how much you have to wager or bet 
before your balance gets withdrawable. So if your wager is 5,000 euros, you'll have to place bets of 5,000 euros in total. And it's very straightforward. If you do a spin for one euro, that will progress your wager by one euro. One thing that's worth noting that many people get wrong is that wins are irrelevant for the wager itself. If you win 1,000 euros, that itself won't affect your wager, so it is simply how much you have to spend. But if you do have a wager of 5,000 euros on a starting 200 euro balance, the wins are of course still very important since you'll have to get some wins to finish the wager before the balance is gone. Wagering brings us to another important topic, which is banned games and wager contribution. One thing that makes a mess for many players is breaking terms and specifically playing games that are not allowed. When you claim a deposit bonus, there are quite often a list of games that you are not allowed to play with the bonus. Casinos could and should be a lot better at stating this, but it is often overlooked and if you play a game you're not allowed to play with a bonus, the casino can simply remove all of your winnings. To showcase how you can avoid this trap, we'll use Tsars as an example. Whatever site you're on, you want to make your ways to the terms and conditions. Here you can choose to scroll through all the terms and read them, which is of course the best thing to do, but we know that most people won't, and that's why we do have some tips and tricks. If you hit Ctrl F or Command F on Mac, you will be able to search on the page you're on. What we like to do is search for book or search for blood. The reason for this is that there are a lot of book games out there, so chances are that some of them are not allowed. And the game Bloodsuckers is very often banned with a deposit bonus, assumingly because of its high RTP, which is a term we'll discuss in a bit. In this scenario, both worked and you'll have the list of banned games in front of you. Now on this site, it says that the following games can't be played with the bonus. But on some sites it may say that and yet you can still play them, thus breaking the terms and risking that your winnings get removed. So I personally like to have this list in another tab when I play and when you're about to enter a new game you just search for that title in this list and if it's not there you're good to go. But you can also see that in this list it mentions that roulette, blackjack, live games etc are not allowed with a deposit bonus. And it is important to note that on the vast majority of casino deposit bonuses, table games and live games are not allowed with a deposit bonus. And if they are, the bonus will usually be called like live casino bonus. Next up is the max cash out or max conversion, which is another term that is easily missed and that most experienced casino players, including me, have been punished by at some point. Quite a lot of deposit bonuses has a max cash out applied. The reasoning for this is of course that casinos wants to make as much profit as possible, but the thing is that deposit bonuses are not necessarily a profitable deal for the casino. First of all, you'll start with a bigger balance than you deposited, which may give you a higher chance of being able to cash out depending on the wager. And secondly, the casino has to pay a provider fee for each spin you do. Let's say you spin for a total of 100 euros on a pragmatic slot. Now, I don't know what pragmatic's provider fee is, but on 100 euros worth of spins, the casino will have to pay somewhere between 5 and 15 to 20 euros to the provider. So even if you lose your entire balance, the casino might not even profit on your deposit when you've used a deposit bonus if your balance stayed alive for long enough. Thus, many sites do have a max cash out. Definitely not all, but some do, so it's always worth looking out for. I have an example here of Rolino Casino, and I've made my way to the bonus terms. Once again, we'll use the search function with Ctrl F and search for cash out, conversion, withdrawal, maximum withdrawal. Casinos use different terms, so what works on one site might not work on all. On this one, cash out worked, and we can see that they have a maximum cash out of five times the bonus granted, which in this case is a 200% bonus. So if you deposit 100 euros, you will get a 200 euro bonus, which means that the max cash out is 1000 euros. As I mentioned, the terminology differs a lot, so if you don't find this, there might not be a max cash out, but it's always best to just ask the casino live chat and they will let you know. 
Last thing we want to mention here is that on a non-sticky bonus, the max conversion is most often only meant for the bonus balance. So if you manage to win up big before hitting the bonus balance, there should not be a max cash out. Although this, once again, could differ between casinos. Last few things to note when it comes to claiming casino bonuses, and especially through us at About Slots. It's quite often that we do have exclusive casino bonuses, which means that the offer you see on our site might only be available to our users. Which means that in order to get the offer you see, you have to click on the link on About Slots and register through it so that the casino can see that you're coming through us. Sometimes there will be a bonus code on the offer. If there is, you'll simply want to use that when you make your deposit. Other times this is done automatically. But if you can't see any bonus when you are to make a deposit, just once again send a message to their live chat and ask them how to claim it just so that there is no misunderstanding. Lastly, another thing that many miss, including me on one unfortunate occasion, is that some deposit methods are not allowed to use when claiming a deposit bonus. Often mobile banking such as Skrill or Netteller. And unfortunately, some sites will still let you claim the bonus with the band deposit method. And you won't notice until you try to make a withdrawal and they'll tell you that this will be cancelled. So once you've chosen a deposit method, such as PayPal or crypto or banking, once again, use the control F in the terms and make sure that they're not mentioning that this is not allowed. Once all of that is done, the deposit is complete and the bonus is claimed, it's time to start playing slots and you'll have to choose what slot to play. We often get asked what is the best slot, what slot should I play to win, and there isn't really an answer to that. Slot games are a form of entertainment and are not made to make you profit in the long run, and even though you can be lucky and win big. So the easy answer is just to play the games that you think look fun or check out our video reviews on the new games here on About Slots. But there are also two slot metrics that could help you out in the search for a new game. RTP and volatility are two terms that you'll hear and read a lot in our reviews and casino streams, etc. RTP stands for return to player. This is usually somewhere between 94 and 96%, but it can be lower and higher. In some countries it is a lot lower, but the industry average is still somewhere around there. An RTP of 96% means that if you simulate like a billion spins on that slot, the players get 96% of the staked bet back, so it's kind of the opposite to the house edge. However, this can't really be applied if you do 100 or even 1000 spins, because you have to realize that this is normally based on billions of spins, so if you just do 100 spins, you might lose it all without winning anything, or you might also be very lucky and win 5000 times the bet, which would give you a much higher RTP. So while picking a game with a high RTP should mean that you have a slightly better chance in the long run, it doesn't necessarily make that big of a difference during a short session. Volatility, on the other hand, is a bit more applicable and affects your short-term gameplay a bit more. Games are usually of low, medium or high volatility. A low volatility game means that you can expect more frequent but smaller wins, meaning that the chance of you winning huge in one spin is not that great, but you're more likely to win a little bit at a time and build the balance that way. High volatility, on the other hand, is the opposite. The wins are not as frequent, but when you do win, you have a higher chance of winning big. You could compare this to sports betting, for example, where you have a higher chance of winning if you place a bet on a 1.2x odds than if you place a bet on a 10x odds. But when that 10x hits, you get paid more. The problem is that high volatility is a much much better selling point in the market, so games that aren't really of that high volatility are often labeled as it anyway. So once again, choosing a game really just comes down to what you think is fun, try some different things out and stick to what you enjoy, as gambling should be looked as a form of entertainment and not some long-term moneymaker. End of class, ladies and gents. Hopefully you know a little bit more about the online casino world now than you did before this video. But if you're new, there will probably be more questions that arise. If so, just comment down below and we'll help you out ASAP. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to check out about slots for all things gambling related. There are great bonuses, reviews, giveaways running, etc. And also remember, if you gamble, 
gamble responsibly. Until next time. Peace!